Good morning world from Windmill Hill. I have aged about 10 years. I'm wearing a jumper and a polo underneath. I did not bring any warm clothes with me to England. Never mind, when it's grey and miserable in England, no one cares how they look. We are heading to a little cafe down the road called the Olive Garden, I think. This place is meant to be recommended for breakfast, so let's see what they've got. There's some really pretty little houses all the way down these streets. Got these cute road signs and farm shops everywhere. Very English. We've arrived at Olive's Cafe. It's quite sweet. So the cafe is actually inside a garden centre. So if my mum was here, she'd be buying plenty of flowers, I'm sure. Seen anything good? Oh, did I? They come big. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Michelle went for a bacon sandwich and white bread. Kamal's got brown bread, bacon sandwich, and some potato sautés. Peanut butter on toast. <laughs> Sasha's got a vegan granola bar with two coffees. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't put it on for me, man. Oh. <laughs> Do it yourself. That's true, actually. We are finished at the little cafe. That was a really nice breakfast. We sat there for quite a while and had a chat. So we had some cuddles with their Uncle Cam's and they read a book. The food was really tasty as well. And we are now all heading back to the house and we're going to head to the beach a bit later this afternoon because the weather is supposed to get nicer. It's actually stopped raining, but it's still a bit windy. Is that fun? Do you like Peter Rabbit on a string? <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. That's not Eden, is it? No, this is Big Bex. She's looking after you. You're teasing our story. That's it, yeah. That's it. You can do it. Oh, <laughs> story's crawling. Yay! Yay! Oh, wow. Wow, you yeah. did it. Good work. Oh, it crawled. Oh. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yeah. How far did she crawl? Um, yeah. Hey. Go on, good girl. Like, Come on, good girl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes, yeah. yeah. can crawl. Are you cheering as well, Yogi? Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, she's set up as well. <laughs> she's showing off now. Wow! Amazing! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Celebration I'm bark! Cheering you, yeah. Yeah. Even Bex! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheer from Leonie! Really yeah. Cheer from Bex! Yeah. Cheer from all of us! Yeah. Come on, you've got oh, a little bit more to go. That's it. Look, I did the first one. Look, she's going Peter Rabbit's the one. Yeah. Come on. Peter Rabbit's the one. Yeah. 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 We just been watching our friends Julian Stewart's wedding video and as soon as the music came on the story started dancing. <laughs> she loves music, doesn't she? She watched pretty much the whole thing while she was having her lunch. Yeah, she loved it. Yeah. So Julian and Stuart were the guys that you saw when we went to the crepe cafe the other day. And they eloped and went to the Isle of Skye to get married, which was beautiful. We love it up there. That's one place we'll have to go back to, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We're going to go on a little adventure of our own right now though, aren't we? We're going to head over to Burling Gap and then Beachy Head to see some of the coastline around here. It looks like the weather is a little bit nicer than this morning. 
little bit. <laughs> it's not raining, so yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good for England. Yeah. Come on, story. That's enough book reading. Yeah. <laughs> you can crawl again later when we get home. The drive down to Berlin Gap in Eastbourne is about 30 minutes. Some cute little towns, some really nice houses and forests, and we've just driven onto a lovely road which has got sunflowers running all the way down the side in the fields. So I think we're almost there according to the map. You saw a picture before, didn't you? Yeah, I looked at the map earlier. This is like the road that leads to the beach, so we're nearly there. Five more minutes, I think. We are at the Berlin Gap car park. It is actually lovely and sunny up here. And there's a nice walk you can do along the top. So I'm looking forward to this. Although it's very windy, we can't quite work out whether we should be taking jackets or just wearing t-shirts. Story's in the sling. Yep. She's got her little jacket on. Wee Ready for an adventure? All right, we are on a little walk. Story's in the sling. And we are just about to look over the cliff edge. This is what it looks like. So this is the actual cliff edge here. It's a bit scary. This is as far as I'm going. <laughs> Cam's looking over. Scary. scary. <laughs> so this is quite rare for England for somewhere to have no barriers. But because of that, there's actually a little bit of a dark side to this place because it's known as a place where people come to commit suicide. <laughs> it's like instant death over that edge, yeah. it's quite scary. Hopefully no nothing like that will be happening today. <laughs> there is also a little air show going on near here today. We've seen a couple of the airplanes flying over, the little biplanes, which is quite cool. We are heading to this lighthouse up here. It is a lovely walk, it is mighty windy, a bit blowy. <laughs> There's the white cliffs there behind us. And this is Story and Leonie's first hike together. Hey Story, you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> This is cool, the clouds are moving so fast you can actually see the shadows moving on the ground. I guess that's a combination of the wind and how low down they are. I remember when we were kids we did a hike in the Peak District with my dad and the clouds were moving just like this. And I remember it vividly that day, I think it must have been about 12 years old, maybe a bit younger. It's so windy I can't film properly, it's blowing the camera everywhere. I brought this big camera with a steady cam. I can't hold it steady. <laughs> Just found out this is a and b You can stay here. That's nice. Have to look it up, Sash. Yeah. Bell, or is it Bell 2? B&B. Nice. <sighs> Finally, a break from the wind. Must be standing in a windbreak, Sash. It's nice here now. I can feel the heat from the sun. How's that little baby? I actually feel hmm? Just look at the colour of the sea, it's actually quite surprising for England. Beautiful. Yeah, what a lovely, lovely place. <laughs> Beautiful. We've been walking for quite a while now. Air show looks like it's still going on, there's some planes flying by. It's super windy. The coastline is looking quite beautiful. We just found this staircase which is leading down to the actual beach itself and now we're down right by the water. Sorry if it's a bit loud down here because of the wind, I don't think it's going to let up today but look at the perspective from down here. It's quite amazing really. It looks lovely. It's epic really. You can see all the salt spray making a mist in the distance and these lovely white cliffs here on the edge. Very nice. I often think this, but I don't appreciate England enough and I think it's because we always make excuses because of the weather. But if you actually get out there and have a look around, even places local to you, they're really, really nice. Well, that's our main activity for the day over. Super windswept. <laughs> I really enjoyed that though. And it was I lovely. I think Eastbourne gets a bit of flack and it doesn't <laughs> need to. It's really right. nice here. Yeah. 
I've had such a nice day that I almost forgot Story actually crawled today. <laughs> I can't believe she finally did it. I know. That is amazing. I, I, I forget that she's got that skill now though. It's a very momentous occasion today. Yeah, so when we put her down on the floor we have to be even more super watchful. Yeah. I'm sure she'll get faster as the days go on. Yeah, now she's worked out that movement. Yeah. But she finally did it and I'm very proud of her. Yay, me too. Good girl Story Bean. <laughs> Don't forget if you want to see our behind the scenes footage you can click right here or in the description below. Hit the thumbs up button and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Homeward bound. 30 minutes.